What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another ROG Ally video. AMD finally brings us their frame generation technology, AMD Fluid Motion Frames, along with some other updates to the ROG Ally this week. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, starting with that blog post just a little bit here. Uh, Armory Crate gets 1413 with enhanced uh, display speed of the game library, added information to the real-time monitor for the fluid motion frames, which is kind of broken. We'll talk about that in the video. Uh, resolve sporadic issue where AMD graphics card driver would uh, hang up and uh, time out, and expanded key map functionality to support uh, the assignment of your trigger keys to the M1, M2. We also got that MCU 3 17 here April 25th expanding that key map functionality and then we had the added support for AMD fluid motion frames on the GPU driver go check out the whole blog if you want to get deeper there but I want to focus on frame generation that's what we've all been waiting for officially here not side loaded or anything and if you're not familiar this is AMD's frame gen technology that basically works to double or more your base frame rate and give you a more fluid experience and they also have their anti latency technology that goes with that very much like Nvidia so let's get in and take a closer look at that now as far as the update center of course i am updated 1413 they had that plus the hot bug for the controller as far as the gpu driver update this wasn't done through my asus like normal or anything like that matter of fact i didn't do it anywhere after i got these updates and restarted my ally the gpu driver just automatically installed by itself and that is the case for a couple of other people i've talked to as well again no updates this time for me in my asus um, for any of the drivers or updates or anything here this time it used to be the GPU driver would be in here my update history from 4.3 is when I did the last GPU driver update so a completely different thing this time the way that that worked but let's go ahead and go into our AMD Adrenaline software here and on home I am now updated to the 24.3.1 this is basically the newest version currently out officially and includes the fluid motion frames that we have here so if we go over into gaming and then we go to graphics when we scroll down here a little bit, you'll now see AMD Fluid Motion Frames and Radeon Anti-Lag there ticked on. This didn't exist for me prior to the update and is working really well here on the ROG Ally. Now we do have a problem though with the monitor, the real-time monitor from ASUS. Really cool, they've added in this red AFMF little badge here and you know when you're using fluid motion frames and it turns on and off in real time for you. But the problem is it breaks the frame generation. It makes it just completely not work. Not that it doesn't read it properly, it actually breaks it to where frame gen, the fluid motion frames doesn't work and I'll show you that in game as well. But I'm sure they'll get that straightened out soon enough and that's gonna make this feature really nice that they've added to the overlay. So if we go into the game here, I have my MSI Afterburner showing base game FPS. Over on the right, we have AMD's uh, overlay, which shows the frame gen frame rate. Now, if I bring up the real-time ASUS monitor, no matter what, it will break frame generation in any game. You can see the AMD overlay cuts down to the base FPS. We're no longer getting frame gen. And if I were to restart the game, it would say frame gen inactive instead of enabled when we first go in. So I'm sure ASUS will get this straightened out. But for now, uh, this really cool feature just really isn't usable there. So we kick that off and frame gen will start working again from AMD side. And you can see that in the overlay on the right compared to my base game on the left there for MSI Afterburner. But ultimately though, besides the overlay issue, this is a great update. We've been waiting quite a while for officially having the fluid motion frames, the frame generation here on the Ally. For these handhelds like this, this kind of technology is what excites me uh, with upscaling and with frame generation and stuff like that. We're able to make these games run better. The anti-lag helps when that's on as well. And this runs really well. This runs really smooth and feels great for hell divers on here and other games. Odd Sparks is another one I've been messing with not super demanding but it will run in the 30s and 40s the way I have it set and frame generation also works really great here and I actually prefer it just especially not being super uh, a game where you got to be super responsive or quick or, or anything it's it's a lot of fun but it stays really clean and really nice with frame gen on I just prefer playing it uh, that way ultimately but I only had a couple games on here right now to, to test it all seems to be working really really well I'm going to test this against lossless probably eventually but I think this driver base AMD frame gen is going to be the way to go here I'm really happy to finally see this on the ROG Ally so definitely let, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if this is working for you it was kind of an odd update it's a shame the overlay is broken as well but I'm sure we'll get there on that all right guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one